Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today, we are going to be heading up to the nether and see if we can't find some glowstone, because I have an idea for our tower here, which, as you can see, I've started it a little bit. Um, it's going to be a bit taller than that. Uh, actually, I don't really know exactly how tall it is right now, but it needs to be at least 16 blocks above the roof, because, well, you'll see when I do it. Um, it's getting pretty tall now. I don't think it's quite tall enough yet. Uh, I'm probably going to make it significantly taller than 16 blocks, but it needs to be 16 blocks at least, and I do have uh, stone smelting in the thing. But uh, I did get some obsidian from over here. I grabbed enough for a portal and one... Er, well, actually, I'm going to need more than that. But I, I grabbed eight for... If you watched my um, snapshot video the other day... Uh, well, yeah, the other day. <laughs> it was yesterday for me, but... Um, then you'll know that the upcoming update, which should be coming soon, because he said something about them um, improving the fact that... Because the previous snapshot required you to... Well, actually, they both do, but they said this one wasn't supposed to. They It required you to have the, um, the server part as well as the client part, which is weird, but it's because they're trying to integrate the server and the client stuff so that it works together better. Um... So that, like, essentially they're the same thing, so one update can affect both equally, and not a whole lot has to change. Um, and would you look at that? There's another village over there. Let's go check that out. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's go do it. Um, so much for, uh, going to the nether, huh? You know we're just gonna get distracted over here by this village for quite a while. And what is wrong with that wall? Why is it all bugged out? Come on, wall. See, one thing I'm afraid to explore now, because um, we've got that new update is going to come out, and we're not going to have any of the emerald resource in the ground. But then again, you can always just get it from trading with villagers. And what is this? <laughs> just walk right onto the roof, no big deal. It's a little messed up here. That's alright. This place is actually backwards, which is strange. I didn't know that could happen. Um... Might as well take these. I guess some boots. Um, got a nice bluish, greenish biome over there. What's down? Where's the door to this place? Is there a villager in here? Because I feel like if there is, he's probably trapped. Um. Yeah, that just generated right through the side of the house. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Weird village. That's an understatement. Anyway, um, God, I looked at my phone twice so far, and I still can't remember how long I've been recording now. I'll probably just cut this thing into several episodes, because I'm going to be in the nether, and I don't want to get lost or something, which I know I will if I split it up into several episodes. Where's it going over here? Uh, I forget where my house is. No! But yeah, uh, the new update is going to not have... I'm not going to have the emerald generated in the current chunks, so I'm going to have to go to a new area if I want to mine it out, but I suppose I could just sell things to the villagers, so that's not really much of a problem. Um, I have been doing a decent job of keeping these guys alive. They've, I mean, every, well, every night, pretty much, I lose, like, one guy, but the population doesn't seem to be going down too much. I haven't seen any babies, though, which is freaking me out. I'm, trying, I'm just trying to find a, a good place to put the portal right now. Maybe I'll put it up in the tower once we're done, because it'll be high enough up that you can't hear it. Um, but for now, I just want it away from my house, so I don't have to listen to it all the time. There we go. And no! Dang it! <laughs> okay. Hold on just a second, guys. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, but yeah, the reason I grabbed all that obsidian back there was for the, the new ender chests. Um, because I'm going to want those. They'll be really useful for traveling, or bringing things across long distances. And theoretically, you could also put one in the end. And just, like, kill a bunch of stuff there, and then bring it back. And, ooh, nether er, uh, glowstone right away. Give me that. Give me that beautiful glowstone. Um... Because we need glowstone for what I'm planning on doing with the tower. Which, eh. 
you probably can guess what I want to do with the tower, but I'm just going to let you guess anyway. Because <laughs> um, it will be neat when it's done. I'll, sh I'll show you when I do start working on it, but I have to actually finish the tower first. I've been doing a lot of just constructing... Oh, right, I forgot that you guys actually haven't seen much of the house since I changed most of it. Um, gotta grab some of that. Nether rack and build with it. Oh, fire. I hear fire. Really hope that's not a blaze and it's just fire. Because we don't need blazes right now. I, well, I could use a couple blaze rods. That'd be nice. Oh, stupid glowstone. Evading me like a champ. Okay. Um, looks like there's glowstone over. There's glowstone up there. Nope, that's just fire. Let's put that out real quick. I did bring a bow with me, cause I actually killed a skeleton pretty much like just before I started recording. Um, or well, I shouldn't say that actually. It was quite a while ago. Never mind. But um, I did grab a a bow off of a skeleton, cause I wanted to enchant my pick, cause I broke my other one, and. It, uh, I didn't have enough levels for it, so I decided to just hop down into the cave, find some dark area, and kill stuff until I got to level 5. And I happened to... No, darn it. Okay, switching to dirt. It's okay, I grabbed a shovel with me, so... Right, I decided to bring my shovel with me for soul sand, but looks like it's got another use now. I should probably grab some more. Um, is that all of it? I don't want to climb all the way down and then find out that there's another one up here. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I was talking about. Um, let's see. Oh, I, I mentioned in, I think, the previous episode of the Let's Play, I don't really remember. It's hard to remember when, when I was talking about something, because, you know, I'm, I've got two series going on. Um, so all I remember is what I said, not when I said it, or where I said it. Uh, I did try to, re like, okay, I mentioned that I was trying, that I was playing the new the new map that Vex made, that it was based on a book, and that there was another one before, and that I thought I had recorded it, but I remembered that I didn't record it because it was ridiculously difficult. <laughs> um, he had, well, he put out two maps, there was a, a gift map, which was like the name of the story or whatever it was, uh, and then he put out a gift warped map, which was the same thing, but ridiculously harder. And, <laughs> I was like, well, I can't just play the not hard one. And then I played the hard one, and I think I recorded some of it. I could be wrong. But I remember taking a little rail line and getting totally... D actually, I, I really wish this was I had recorded it and uploaded it because it was fantastic because I was taking this little rail line and I actually hit a pressure plate. It was up in the, it was up in the air just going across like a little monorail thing. And I hit a pressure plate on the thing and I went, crap. <laughs> and there was a bunch of TNT underneath. Somehow, I immediately jumped out of my minecart, because I, like, stopped moving. So I was like, crap. So I just broke the minecart and tried to run. And, uh, once the TNT started going off, I just held shift. And everything around me got destroyed, except for the one block I was standing on. And there was a giant pit underneath me. And, like, the track for, like, ten blocks that had broken off. Except for, like, the one or two blocks I was standing on. And I was like... It was terrifying. Um, but, uh, unfortunately, yeah, like, I was... I forget if the map was hardcore or not. I think it might have been... No! Wait, wow, you just kind of, like, came right out of nowhere there. Get the thing out of my face. Die! Drop a guest here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, yes, you did. Sweet. I don't really know why that's particularly useful, but in case we ever, like, get caught on fire or something, a regeneration potion could save us. Let's come down here. Um, we're gonna get down. Is there a hole underneath me? Nope. Sweet. I don't see a... Gravel. I don't see a fortress anywhere, which is saddening, because this is a big open area, so we'd have the best chance of finding... Mm, of finding the fortress here. Just trying to put out that fire and... Ugh, come on! Like, I just, I think it's put out, so I just go to start walking, and then I realize that it's actually not put out, and then step right into fire. Which is probably bad for my health, but, you know, it's just too fun. Um, okay, yep. For that 
happens and I just totally forget where I am and fall into that lava. I'm gonna stick some torches around here. Um, just so that I know that's where I came from. Some lava falling over there. Yeah, that's a drop. Can't make that. Okay. Well, I could make it, but I wouldn't be able to make it back. And that's the problem. That's the that's the important thing is that I can make it back. I can always just jump off of ledges, but it's a lot harder to make it back without dying. Because I do have tons of glowstone on me right now. <laughs> it would be really unfortunate if I did happen to die. Of course, I'm playing it stupid here. I should just turn around and put it all back, but... Or, not put it back, but, you know, bring it back into my house and leave it there. And, whoa. thought I just jumped into fire again, but it was just that the uh, particles hadn't gone away. I shouldn't. I should just be digging out holes instead of placing down blocks to make stairs. But you know, since when am I good with good ideas? Ow! Oh, does this go all the way over there? Can I just? Have I been over there? I don't know. Guys, I don't know. Ooh, that's a tiny little terrifying bridge. Let's do that. <laughs> I, I'm beginning to wish I brought cobble with me. It's never a great idea to run around in the nether without cobble. Because, hi! Hello! No oh, thanks. Stop it! Oh, now you're in the lava. Great. Good job. There we go. Do, do, do. do I get that experience? Yay! And gunpowder, apparently. Oh, I'm in a hole. I don't really want the gunpowder. I was hoping for another uh, thingy with blobber. Okay, we came from that way. I don't really need to worry about getting lost so much as long as I can just remember where I came from. Like, duh. But, um... Like, I, if I can get back to there, then I can look around and be like, okay, well, this is where I came from. And then once I get back to where I was before that, where I came down the stairs, I'm be like, well, this is where I came from. And it's really easy beyond that point, but this is a very small thing of glowstone right here. Um, in case you hadn't noticed, it's kind of feel a little gypped here. Oh, oh, that's good. That's a good one. And a bunch of, um, soul sand, too. Do -do 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 -do. Make our way over here. Come on. Here we go. There's a glowstone. Oh, no, we're fine. I was going to say, I may lose some of this to the lava over there, but now the lava's pretty far away. We should be fine. I'm just using my pick. Like, I know you don't have to use your pick. I'm just using it because it's faster. And I'm lazy. I mean, look at that. Look how fast that goes. Um, cause I know. I mean, I do have efficiency on this pick, so you know it'll it will do things faster than just a regular stone pick would. But um, pretty much everything you could do in the Nether, you can't really increase the speed without enchantments because, like, Netherrack breaks like crazy, and if you if you have a like a Efficiency 4 or something, you can just tear through it like a shovel with Efficiency 4 on dirt. Um, can I even get over here where I'm trying to go? Uh, not really. But those are some nice veins of glowstone there. Let's build a little bridge here. And then just dig our way down once we hit the other side. Whoa, 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 almost fell right off there. That's not where I wanted to put that. There we go. There we go. And now, climb up here. Put that down. Oh, a little bit of lag here, which is odd. Um, which, and it actually does seem like lag, too, not like frame rate issues. I know uh, Jeb mentioned it one time because, oh, I want to get that one, but it's so high up. Maybe if a gas shoots at me, I can shoot it. Oh my god! <laughs> That thing is huge, man! Okay, let's start with this one. Do I have enough blocks to get up there? Yeah, that's not more than 40 blocks up. Let's get to the middle of it. Start pillaring. Hopefully not get shot off by a gas. Because 40 block drop will definitely kill me. Okay, well it's only like 30, but that'll still kill me, so... I need to be careful. I hear fire. It's freaking me out. 
I, I don't like it because the blazes make the fire sound. So every time I hear fire in the nether, I'm just like, Blaze, no, get away! And then it's not a blaze, and I feel silly. Let's get our way down here. Again, I don't really know how long I've been recording. Probably more than ten minutes. I may just upload this as one episode because it's a nether episode. And it would kind of be a little bit confusing if I split it up. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I will. I don't know. That, that's just something that will you'll see later. If I do, then I did. And if I don't, then I didn't. So, yeah. Man, that was confusing to say. That must be what it's like to be a time traveler. <laughs> it's like, well, I did, but I haven't yet. So, you know, that's, that's cool. Oh, what just happened there? I heard it. Oh, that's what happened. I put an extra block there. I heard it go, like, as if I had placed a block, but I didn't see it, so I got confused. But that's just because the nether rack all blends in. Why don't I hear that gas anymore? Did I kill him? I thought there was gas flying around. Maybe I'm crazy. Uh, let's see. We've got, we've got a pretty decent amount of glowstone here. I remember trying to go to the nether recently somewhere. Maybe it was... I think it was on my, my private server that I play on. And, um... That me and Jimmy play on. And... Uh, there was, like, no glowstone anywhere. And it was really disappointing <laughs> because I wanted glowstone. I ended up coming back with, like, ten glowstone. And I was like, oh, well, that's not cool. Now, where was that giant thing of glowstone? It was over here. Let's go check that out. See if we can't get some more from there because we've got... We're almost running out of inventory space. Let's drop that and that. We don't need those. We have plenty of gravel back home. So, that's not a problem. Look at that! Wow. Don't be lava underneath. Don't be lava underneath. There's lava underneath. I think. Oh, well, there's some lava, but it's not actually underneath that. So, we should be able to get our way up there and... No! Get away from my glowstone! You can't have it! Wow, I actually... Okay. That was a long shot. <laughs> I, I didn't actually get the achievement for it, because, like, I would have gotten the achievement for it, because I've been swapping around with the... Um... The... <coughs> snapshot, but uh, I haven't actually gotten any achievements beyond opening my inventory, so <laughs> I don't think I have. Okay, this is going to take a bit of... Uh, this is going to be several layers of scaffolding here for me to get all of this, because it's ridiculously large. Uh, let's, let's just go like this real quick and hop on up here. There we go. Who needs scaffolding when you can just stand on the thing you're breaking? Because that's always the smart move. Stand on the thing you're breaking. Yeah. Okay, good. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Can we reach it? Yeah. Okay, let's go down. We've got a bunch of stuff over here. Man, this must be particularly exciting for you guys. Because, you know, you're, you get to watch me break glowstone for an episode. Isn't that exciting? Well, on the bright side, this glowstone will definitely be enough. We can just run back and not have to worry about glowstone for a very, very long time. On the downside, we're destroying this beautiful, beautiful structure up in the ceiling of the nether. I mean, some people don't like the nether, and when I finish my texture pack, I intend to make it look a lot better. Um, because it is kind of, like, grotesque at the moment. <laughs> um, all of the flesh-looking walls and... I mean, glowstone's kind of pretty. I like glowstone. Maybe other people don't. But uh, I've always thought it was very nice looking. Maybe it's just because it, it is a block that you get light from, whereas torches are, like, <coughs> hideous compared. Um, because torches stick out, and they're all ugly. And I know I, I went over this recently when I was um, making my house. <coughs> I was talking about the lighting and how I was going to light it up and stuff, and no, you get away from my glowstone! It's all vulnerable now, and of course, now the gas comes. And now I'm on slow sand, so it's all going to be hard for me to get. No, it's mine! Get it faster! Walk faster! Um, I still want to find blazes, so I can at least make, like, speed potions. That would be useful. Oh, I wish I had feather falling. Fire! No! Don't touch my glowstone, fire! 
my glowstone. Oh, look at all this. Man. I thought we got, like, the majority of it up there, but no, this is, like, half of it down here. Jeez. Okay, so we're going to be set for a very long time. Uh, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I don't need eggs. Why do I have eggs? I wonder if hitting a zombie pigman with an egg would make him angry. Probably. I'm not going to try it. <laughs> nope. Where? Really? That's a pretty big one right there, too. Right into the lava. Uh, let's come over here where it's safe, arguably, and grab some slow, some soul sand. I'm gonna probably interchangeably call it soul sand and slow sand, because I, I usually call it soul sand, but everybody calls it slow sand, so, uh, you know. It's just one of those things that after a while, hearing people say it, it just rubs off. Um... Okay, let's see, we've come down here, this is back, we've got all our glowstone, all of our beautiful, beautiful glowstone. And I do really, one thing that I'm going to have trouble making in my texture pack is the, is the dusts. Like, gunpowder is alright, because it's not like a particularly beautiful image as it is, but I do happen to love the texture for glowstone dust and redstone dust. Like, particularly redstone dust, because the, the reds are just so pretty. Like, they're so red and colorful, and it's going to be hard to be able to make something that's better than what's already there. Like, I almost want to just leave it, but it's not going to go well with my texture pack. And it's really, it, that makes me sad, because mine is never going to be as good as the, the default redstone texture. But, you know, oh well. I'm going to leave these tra this trail of torches because I'm going to want to go back there at some point because there's tons of glowstone over there. Also, it'll just be nice to know where I've gone. Um, I intend to... I don't know actually how tall I'm going to build my tower because I do want it to be very high so I can put my nether portal in it and have it put me up at the top of the nether. Because it does work like that. It'll try to put you as close to the same altitude as it can. I don't really know what'll happen if I build mine ridiculously high, actually. So... You know, but no magma cube? Darn. Or magma cream? That sucks. Okay. Crap, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm totally lost. Where's my way up? Um, I remember seeing that. Um, oh, oh. Is this the thin connection? No, I don't think it is. Otherwise, I probably would have grabbed that glowstone over there. And we have just enough space in our inventory for the glowstone, too. Yeah, no, that's not it. Maybe it was down below us? No. Okay, let's return to where we were. Oh, was that a torch over there? That is a torch. Let's go over there. Oh, that's the, that's the thin connection. Sweet. Our little... Um... Isthmus... I guess. I don't, does it count if it's in the air? <laughs> I guess it's probably just more of a bridge now. Whoa, zombie pigman! No, don't do that! <laughs> he walked, like, right into my feet as I tried to jump, like, past him. Which just... Didn't... Didn't know... It wasn't good. That's... That's what that was. Yeah, I don't really remember... Oh, hey, look, there we go. I was gonna say, I don't remember where to go after that. But, we're good. We're good. Okay, so that's good to know that I took a left here. I'm going to put a torch like that, so when I come down, I can come out, look around, and see that that's there. And know that I went left. Okay, so we didn't get a blaze rod, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. We don't need one of those for quite a while. Um, like, realistically, we, we don't have much use for one uh, right now. And my portal should be up here somewhere. Uh, because... We don't need fire resist potions really right now, um, unless we're gonna try to make like a, a blaze trap, which would be nice because I would like to farm some blaze rods because they do work better than coal and I've never had a chance to do that before. So which way is my house? Not that way. It's this way. Um, so that would be cool. And uh, let's see, what else? What was, what was I saying? We don't need one for an Eye of Ender yet. Although eventually I do want to go to kill the dragon. Because that should be fun. 
But it is going to be a while until I've got all kinds of potions and stuff, just because I don't want to... That's a pretty, pretty portal up there. It's a pretty portal. Pretty penny. Pretty picture. I don't know. I did space these out so nothing can spawn. One time I was sitting there crafting something, or I think it was in a furnace maybe, or a chest, and a zombie just walked up behind me and started beating me up, and I was like, oh, where'd you come from? And I'm pretty sure he spawned in that room back there because I didn't have torches. So, that was surprising. And glowstone! Okay, that's a lot. How many stacks is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that would be... 3 and a half stacks of glowstone blocks. I only intend to use... 12... For the tower. Oh, you know, screw it, I'll just tell you. I, um... I want to make a, a lighthouse. But the problem is that I don't know how high I want to make it. Because I know the higher up I make it, the the longer it'll take for it to actually, like, load and stuff when I get close to it. But it'll look really cool if I make it really high. Also, the, the lights might not really show up well if I do it too high. Then again, I could actually do, like, several layers of the lights. Because I wanted it just to cycle around. And, uh, you know what? Actually, I will show you what I wanted to do with that, um... In my redstone... Oh, that's the LP world. <laughs> Ignore that for a second. Um, I wanted to do this. It's just... Um, oh. What happened here? Missing the glowstone. I mean the gravel. Um, but yeah, that way it just cycles around. Uh, there is a four delay on, on each one. And the thing... Uh, no, it's actually three delay. Let's turn it up to four and see how well it works. Where's my hole? There it is. Um, yeah, now there's mobs everywhere. Um, that's all right. The it's just a um, a series of repeaters. Hi, skeleton that go around and feed into the blocks to power the things, so it's just a cycle. Um, let's see. And it's kind of slow. Oops. Oh, there we go. Okay. And like that, Yeah, I think that's that's a good speed for it. Um, it may cause some lag, but well, it caused more lag when it was at two or one even. But uh, slimes everywhere. But it's it's pretty good now. Wow, the world really doesn't load when you're doing this. I set up some stuff here, and uh, I'll go over those later. But uh, yeah, so that's what I want. This is what I want to do. Um, this is just the easiest way that I could think of to set up an oscillating light, because otherwise, like, I could, the only other easy way to do it would be to have it, like, light up one whole side at a time, because with this size constraint, it's, um, like, it has to be within this 5x5 five five area, and it would be difficult for me to make anything really better with more glowstone in here, because I wanted it to be, like, the whole wall, but... In order to do that, I would have to have um, repeaters lined up with times on them, and then like more repeaters to make a loop in the middle so that it feeds out. And I don't have enough space. I'd have to leave like gaps everywhere, and it would just be annoying. So I kind of like this one though. And this is why I wanted to make it tall because it is a ridiculously annoying noise, and um, like you wouldn't be able to see it very well up close. But actually, that might be a reason for me to make it relatively not tall. And then again, far away, you know, far away when I'm recording, you can't see it, actually. <laughs> but, uh, when I'm not recording, it works just fine. Man, even with the, uh, the extra memory, it's still... Man, I don't, I don't know what else to do to help Minecraft work better. Um, it's just not using the extra memory that I'm giving it. And I don't know what to do with that. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'll probably just make all this one episode because I am doing this little 
part here where I show you the, the thing. Let's go back to the LP world. Um, so that's what I want to do here uh, for the top of the tower, and we'll put the nether portal up there. Uh, probably below the lights, but still high enough that I can't hear it. Um, so, yeah. Let's see, we've got, we've got stone done here. Now, I hate how when, my, when I'm full screen, my mouse starts over here, because, like, the default box is actually, like, this big, and my monitor is just that much bigger. Um, so, let's see, we've got those. I've just been smelting these th these things by, like, the dozens, by the hundreds, to make this stone brick. Um, as a little tour around the house, I made the floor wood, which I would like to put a pattern on it, but I need dark wood and light wood, and I only have dark, or I only have normal wood at the moment. Actually, I, there's, there's a forest over there. I could go over there to grab the light wood, but it doesn't contrast very well, as far as I'm concerned, with the regular wood, so I need to find dark wood as well. Uh, I don't really want to explore until that, well... Then again, actually, I don't think they're changing anything about the generation, aside from the fact that it generates new structures with the new update, so uh, we shouldn't have any problems with that. And... Uh, I did this little thing around the edges. These are actually just half slabs, just the bottom half, because it's cheaper. Because instead of putting a whole thing there, I can get two half slabs. Or, well, you get six half slabs for three blocks, so if I only need a half slab per corner then um, I can get this, I can get six corners out of three blocks, so, you know, they're all half slabs, which means that there's a little space there, you can see, but that's alright, it doesn't actually affect anything, nothing can spawn there or anything. I don't know what to do with the ceiling yet, probably gonna have some glass there so we can see through, I'm not really sure, so we can see our nice tower. I'm definitely going to have a thing on the tower so that you can, uh, whoop, right through it, so that there will be windows on the side. So you can see the water pouring down the middle from all around. And I took out the ladders, except for this one, so I can actually get up it. Because from here, it's hard to actually make the side. Yeah, let's see. So um, I did take out the ladders. I believe it is faster to just swim up, <laughs> which is a little strange. But, because, uh, oopsies. Right, feet have to hit the ladder, not face. <laughs> which I don't really understand, because, well, I guess I understand. Never mind. I'm going to say your arms are what pull you up, but that's not really true. Um, but I believe it is faster to just go up the waterfall. So I took out all the ladders, and besides, I wanted to get rid of all the ladders anyway. I'm probably going to replace most of this dirt here with smooth stone, just so it looks nice on the way down. Maybe put some... Oh man, if I want to get really fancy, I could put some glass here, like all the way down, and have lava behind it to light up the whole thing. Maybe just on one side. No, I couldn't do it on just one side. I'd have to do it on all sides. But uh, this little ring here, I just made to make it look nice while I was taking the ladders down. And, uh, yeah. I th oh, I don't think I showed you that I did the outside. I did stairs on the outside, too. Um, I mean, you've probably seen it, but I didn't actually show you. I've just got two stairs. One I just put on the outsides of these blocks right here, because this was how it looked before, and I just stuck that there. And then up on top, I added another one. Aside from that, it's flat. Um, so, yeah. And is this the ceiling? Yes, this is the ceiling. And I don't have any more cobblestone. Yeah, I've just got some torches up here for now to keep things from spawning. I've got a ladder so I can climb up the thing. It's pretty pretty much standard. I did harvest some more wheat, so we've got tons of bread. <laughs> so much bread. Three stacks in there. And, you know. Well, if we find one of these villagers buys bread, then we'll have tons of emerald. So that'll be nice. You just trade tons of emeralds for um, some diamond stuff or whatever. That'll be pretty neat. Pretty excited about that update. Um, anything else? I think that's pretty much it. I didn't do anything in the village. Um, let's see, I covered that. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I've mined out some more stuff. I'll update on you on. I've got 14 diamonds. This is the second diamond p pick I've made. I went through the first one already. We've lost quite a bit of, fit of uh, uses on that in the nether. Which is unfortunate. But, oh well. Um, let's see. Yeah, I got that for the... I do want to get blaze rods for that update so we can make that chest. Because it'll be fantastic. We can have like a chest in the nether and a chest in the end. And a chest here. And a chest at any other base we make. It'll just make moving things so much easier. You know? Um, particularly because you can have one in your storage room. 
and then that'll give you like an additional inventory. You know, you can just run around with one in your inventory, place it down, put stuff into it, pick it up. It's actually kind of like the um, the stuff in the storage things in Terraria. There's a few storage things that are personal, so you can put stuff in it and then pick it up and then put it back down and open it up and there's stuff in it again. And there's still stuff in it. And all piggy banks have the same inventory and all safes have the same inventory. You can actually put a piggy bank in a safe or a safe in a piggy bank and have like all the storage on you at one time. You just have to set up in order to get stuff out. But um let's see, we've got a gas tier, let's put that over here. That that goes in the useful this is my useful chest and this is my not useful chest. <laughs> this is the stuff that I just ha don't really care for. Uh, you know, oh, actually this dirt should be in there. Um, or the stuff that I don't really have a use for at the moment. So, yeah. And then this is the chest of all the of all the good stuff that I want to keep and want to keep on me. I don't have that many arrows. I need to get more. But I have plenty of bones, so. Um, yeah. Got a bunch of sand. I could make more glass with that, so I don't really need to worry about having... Or not having enough... Well, that probably wouldn't be enough glass to do the, all that I want to. Because... <laughs> What I just described wanting me wanting to do is like glass times four all the way down there and glass times four all the way up there. So that's probably way more than... It's probably about 64 a piece down, so that's four stacks of glass to go down there and then maybe like two stacks to go up there because I'm not going to go all the way up with that. At least I don't think I am. Um, yeah, okay. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry this has been a long episode. I know some of you guys don't like that, but uh, we got some. We actually got some stuff done for once, so that's nice. You can see the little desert thingy over there. Yeah, I can't. There you go. That's nice. Nice little view of the desert and stuff. I do like that Nether portal. Then. All right. Anyway, I'm going. <laughs> thank you for watching. Bye.